we're marching on with our look at Appliance Heroes here on Toy Sember Spring Break Edition, and that march takes us to the kitchen. Now to this point, it's pretty much been universal. These are appliances pretty much anyone is very familiar with, but this time, it's going to be something that's much more common to be found in Asian households than American. Today, it's a little rice cooker. This is your standard variety kitchen appliance, so it's all white in color with just enough paint to give it some look. Most of the black is molded parts, and the blue is used sparingly just to break things up. It's pretty plain looking, but to its credit, it's the best at maintaining its looks all the way around. Plenty of panel lines, but it looks like what it is all the way around. And as a bonus, it comes with a rice scoop. There's no place to store it, but hey, they were thinking. Transforming this one is actually kind of involved, and there's a few engineering tricks that are actually kind of impressive. And with how shoddy the plastic is, maybe not the best of ideas. In robot mode, he forms a pretty round but solid looking bot, with few new details exposed and a bit more gray and red in the mix. Yellow's added as well, most notably in the head. This one's got a strange RC and Optimus Prime's fanfic baby motif to it, and he constantly looks surprised. He does nice for articulation, with universal shoulders and hips, elbow bend, and even some ankle tilts. He should have knees, but unfortunately the slides in his transformation keep that from happening. Speaking of, the ones on mine are very weak in robot mode, and it's more luck than anything keeping his left leg from collapsing. Such is the way of knockoff quality. I will commend it for the blaster though, formed from transforming the scoop. It only fits in the left hand, interestingly. Kinda rare to see a robot lefty. And then there's the cartoony mode, which is... Interesting. Behold the living rice cooker. Since the toys molded white, they had to pick a different color for his mouth and eyes, and the blue does not really work for this task. At least this one's looking forward for once. Kind of. The pupils are mispainted, giving him a wall eyed look. So, aside from some QC issues, do knockoffs even have QC? He actually isn't too bad. It's a solid enough robot mode with enough clever tricks in transforming to actually make him worthy as a toy. But we've only got one to go. When we open tomorrow's present, we end big, and we finish the entire toy line.